Hello and welcome to Battle of Heavyweights, round seven. Let's just jump right in here. All right. The purpose of this round is to figure out what happens when there are multiple lookup columns. Multiple lookup columns. In other words, there's not a unique ID. There might be multiple columns uh, that we need to use uh, to, to do our lookup. First with VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. We want to go find this, comma. In table one, return the value in the one, two, three, third column, and zero for exact match close function, and enter. 334, let's fill it down. A, 334, B, so what, what's going on here? These are repeated values. Here's the deal. The VLOOKUP function is designed to, to handle a single lookup value. There's one argument. All right, and so we're, it's actually only looking at A, so it stops at the first one, 334, and when it gets to B, it goes to B, stops at the first one. So that's what's going on here. Let's find out about some ifs, equals some ifs. We want to add up the price column, but we only want to include those rows where the class column, comma, is equal to our class and where the subclass column is equal to our subclass. So what's the deal? Some ifs is a multi-condition summing function. That means it can handle multiple conditions. Each condition uses a pair of arguments. So what does this mean? It handles multiple lookup columns. It's designed to do that. Enter. We get 334, let's fill it down. We get 257, looks good. We get 235, and that looks good, and so on and so forth. Okay, so, so that's the difference. VLOOKUP is designed to handle a single lookup value. Some ifs is designed to accommodate multiple lookup values or lookup columns. So which one would we use in practice? I don't know about you, but I'm going to go with some ifs. So how do we score the round? Well, some ifs takes 10. Um, what about VLOOKUP? What about VLOOKUP? Could we use VLOOKUP to do this? Yeah, we could use VLOOKUP to do this. And VLOOKUP users have been doing this workaround for decades, right? And we simply use concatenation or or uh, flash fill, or uh, concat, or text join. You know, we basically combine the multiple columns to create a single lookup column. And we would do that up here, um, and we would do this down here. Uh, and so we could certainly do this with VLOOKUP with a helper column or with a helper function. So the way that we're going to score this round is we're going to give 10 points to some ifs as the winner and 9 points to VLOOKUP. So at the end of round 7, we have VLOOKUP 64, some ifs 68. We will see you in round 8. Hey, thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.